All right, so today I'm going to be replacing my digital thermometer, the thermostat. It's been spray painted over by an old handyman back before we owned this place. And you can see this is the color it's supposed to be, and it's white. They just spray painted everything, including the blinds in this place. I didn't even know this damn thing had a display. I had to take a knife and scrape the paint off to read the display. And on top of that, it's worn out because a lot of times it's not—it won't let—it's not telling the furnace to click on. Like right now, let's see if I can zoom in or not. You probably can't read the display. I'm gonna zoom in, see if it'll let you. Let me adjust this camera. Using that cheap mom, uh, cheap tripod, so bear with me. It's not going to hold the damn setting, is it? The temperature on the far right, the smaller number, that's the temperature it's set at. The bigger one is the temperature it currently is. Well, one morning I got up, and the temperature where the time is was reading 56 degrees. And it was set at 68. So I hit the up button, set it to 69, then the furnace clicked on. That's the second or third time it's done that. You know, it happens once in a while, it doesn't do it all the time. So I'm thinking maybe because it's been spray painted, it doesn't doesn't register correctly. And plus it is it's worn out, the dial on the bottom kind of like doesn't fully register a lot. You know, trying to adjust the settings. So this is the one I got. And I got a kitty cat that wants to say hello. Since she wants to meow. Here, you want to be on YouTube? Meow? This is a skunk. Say hello. Hello, YouTube. Mm hmm. Do you cause mischief? I'm trying to make a video. So, fun part is trying to figure out how this one comes off. This is the batteries for this one. So here's the actual thermostat. Now I'm going to show you how to replace it. My furnace is strictly heat only. You can't even run the fan by itself. So this one's pretty much pretty simple to hook up. Just gotta figure out how this one pops off. Take like a little tab under here. Let's zoom in a bit. Camera will stay put. A little tab under here. There we go. Two wires, W and RH. Dusty too. Dusty. So make sure take the wires off first and then this one comes with a label. This wire is a W. I got labels that came with it. Little stickers. So I need a W. So I know which wire did what here. Put that one out of the way. Next one's RH. But that's assuming it's even hooked up properly. Who knows? So I'll put this on here. And 
That way, I don't know which wire goes where. These screws are not going to come out, are they? Probably used four foot long screws too, the dumb fuck. These are the screws he fucking used to hold the damn thing in. You don't need these longer screws. Fucking shithead. He no longer works here anyway, he was fired a long time ago. He didn't do shit. We now own the trailer, so. thing apart. So I gotta press it here. And this is the this is the part I'm gonna mount to the wall. Now I don't have an RH on this thing. So let me consult the manual and I'll be right back. Alright let's at the manual RH would go onto the R, so I need to remove the jumper that's on here. And I'm gonna need a micro screwdriver too because of how small these are, so I gotta pause it once again. Alright, I'm back. Got one of these uh, pen screwdrivers as I call them. So, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing or not. Move this jumper out of here. So now I'm gonna mount this to the wall. It comes with screws. I have to remake some holes. Mount it there, then I have to paint this later. So, H is supposed to go on R. This goes on the top. And W goes on W.
take this back part off so I can access the batteries. No, actually I don't have to. Now set the gas. Or you can set it to electric or heat pump. This won't work with electric baseboards and it won't work with heat pumps that have like an auxiliary backup system. Time is 5.22. I'll fuck with them later. program it later. Not that I even use the programming. So now I just need to connect it and see if it works. Let's see how this do it. Showing it's about 70 in here. Set the heat. Click. Set the hold at 68. Heat is on. Click. And it's clicked off because it's at 70. So I might have to put it up a bit just to. So I'm gonna go turn the power onto the furnace. Okay, now it shows it's 71 in here. I'll turn it up a bit and see if I can get the furnace to click on. Which it's not. Okay, is it hooked up wrong or what's the problem? I don't know, I gotta figure this stupid thing out. Alright, the thing must have been in test mode or it goes to a diagnostic or something. So now it's reading 72, I put it up to 75, it took a couple seconds, but then it find the, I heard the relay click. And the uh, furnace burner kicked on. So I put it back down to 69 and it clicked off. So, it's working now. So if it reads 72, then honestly the other 
th thermostat was bad too because probably because it got paint on it so it wasn't reading the full temperature because it was reading 68 in here and this one's reading at 72 so but that's basically how you replace your uh, digital th thermostat you know just read the manual if you got alternate re if you got alternate wiring just it tells you what to do about that so I got currently got two wire thermostat wire in here if I ever get if I ever upgrade the furnace and get AC obviously I'd probably have to replace the wires but that's how you do it so time will tell if it acts up too like the other one did so obviously it must have gotten paint on the sensor this is this the old one zoom out see it's the old one part of it see the front of it like I said, I didn't even know it had a display when I moved in. Everything was painted. They just, because we came in the site, we were going to come in to sign a lease. And they were like, oh, the paint's still wet, come back at five. In reality, it reality, hadn't even been painted yet. So he probably came in, took his spray gun, spray painted everything. Okay, I'm done, I'm going home. Because the blinds were painted, light fixtures were painted, smoke detectors were painted. That guy was just an asshole. But second management company fired his ass. And now we own the trailer anyway. At least that's what they tell us. But thermostats replaced. So nothing much to it. Thanks for watching.